Hi, my name is Drew, and I'm part participating in Robot in 3 Days with Kettering University's Robotics Network. Right here, you can see our bot, which we've made in the past three days since the game was, was, re, was released. Um, this year, we went with more of a very simple strategy. It's really as bare bones as you can get um, while still scoring. We found that the human player can shoot during the match. Um, so we thought that if teams maybe don't want to make a shooter or don't have the time to, like us, um, we just went with a very simplistic um, front feeder over the bumper storage and then outtake into the outpost as shown like this. Um, we have a cutout in our frame here. Um, we will as well cut the bumpers uh, five from the frame here because um, that is within the rules. Um, this will basically just make us a feeder bot both to the human player and to other bots in your zone. Um, the reason why we went with this is just because it's as bare bones as you can basically get. It's three, maybe even two rollers, depending on your front thing here. Um, we had to go with two because our, uh, we're, we're, we're using pool noodles. Um, so the ball will get stuck in this kind of concave spot here, which means that we had to basically put in these um, ramps here to act as a nice grippy surface that's flat um, to let the ball roll up with the bot here. I'll show you. As you can see, it rolls right up in, into the storage tank with a kind of slight, um, a slight slope here. So that way, you know, you can probably get one or maybe two rows of fuel in here um, to allow for maybe 12 to 20 um, game pieces. As you can see here, we did have to cut the frame um, to let the balls um, ride low enough to go under, I think it's like the eight in an, a half inch gap here. Um, without that, we cannot fit the ball through this hole without going over the frame and then down on the ground. So this just lets the game piece start from the front, come up here, roll down naturally, pull up towards the back, and then it is as easy as rolling this back wheel here and the fuel goes in. Um, we did have to shorten the frame as, as well because the frame went from 120 to 110. Um, so with the standard chassis, with, with the just standard uh, frame and tank drive, you will have to make some um, changes there. What we did is we just cut uh, the side um, plates here and then did have to cut out a U for our frame that we built on here to fit. Normally you won't have that, but if you have something similar, you'll have to make some changes to fit within the new uh, rules with the frame. For climbing, we went with a simple climber in, in a box. Um, these can be cut to what length you need. Um, ours is currently too long, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you like this. Um, this will be here to the frame, will look like such. The idea being, you can basically drive in your bot to the side here, pull down and raise your bot because the frame will force its way into the tower that way. Um, but since that is mounted to the same part as the climber and if things are mounted right, um, as long as the friction here going this way is stronger than vertically, um, then you should be fine. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna end up having to mount maybe some rubber matting or something to the hook or maybe make our own. Um, but it's a very simplistic way. We don't have to go outside of our frame. And as long as we're under the you know 30 inch height, um, which is about here, um, then we should be fine. The idea there is once our, our front is down, we cannot raise it back up. It's gravity fed, so we cannot extend ourselves outwards, may, maybe to grab on here or things like that. We, we would have to go out front, which there's just too much space right there um, that we can't use. So doing it like this is just very simple and leaves room all right here for more bots that uh, won't have to worry about our bot 
to climb with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.